Okay, so we're going to do part two of the Warren Winch troubleshooting video. Uh, we've already shown you how to test, make sure that the actual motor works. That's your first step. Second step is going to be to do the solenoids. So we're using a multimeter here. All we've got to do is we've got it on the continuity test. So whenever I have a complete connection, it will beep. So I've got one lead on one side of the solenoid, one lead on the other side of the solenoid. And then all I'm doing is, is I'm supplying positive straight from the battery to my trigger post. And all I'm going to do to complete the circuit is I'm going to connect my negative from the battery to this. What will happen is it'll send power through the solenoid here and it'll open up and connect this post to this post. So basically all it is is an electronic switch. Whenever you apply, apply power to these two posts, it will switch inside and connect this post to this post. Um, looks complicated because there's four and a whole bunch of wires, but in actual fact, all it's doing is just switching power on and off. And the reason why there's two is because these two are gonna work um, in conjunction with each other, and these two are gonna work in conjunction with each other. Um, this will be power out, power in, vice versa, depending on how you hook up the wires. So, <clears throat> If the solenoid works fine, I should get a beep as soon as I connect this. So you can hear the solenoid click, basically switching power across the posts. And the beep telling me that that solenoid is good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump over, test the bottom solenoid. cable here and now to complete the circuit I'm just going to ground out to this connection here so as you can hear it clicks OK uh, we do have continuity in between the two posts so we'll carry on And we'll continue checking these two. If everything works fine, then I'm going to show you how to wire up the solenoid pack to the winch motor and show you a working M8000 winch.